Alright, last we left off, um, it was, we had just made it to 6 o'clock. Um, I had to go take a breather because I was literally shaking. It took everything in me to make it to that 6 o'clock. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. So, let's get, jump back into it, get to the computer, see what Henry has to tell us, see if we can figure out what the heck happened to Sophie and her best friend. And hopefully not die again. <laughs> and, and try not to. I just touched my touch screen. I hope it doesn't screw up everything. Yeah, I hope I hope it I hope it does tell us everything that happened and, and doesn't like sort of leave us on a cliffhanger because that would really stink. I've been I've been really wanting to know the story of, of what happened. I'm really curious though what um the neighbor's suicide note meant though, where he said he wasn't acting alone. <laughs> Oh, Henry's typing to us. Connection lost. Oh no. Oh no, did she kill Henry? Henry? Safe spots in D. You will kill me. No, no, no. <sighs> well, if we have to deal with this bullshit again. This really stinks. I thought that, um, I didn't know if I'd have to get to 8. I was under the impression I would just jump in and, and it would tell me what happened. I didn't know I'd have to get all the way to 8 again. But then again, that was stupid. It should have been obvious. <laughs> Safe spots in D. Again. Obviously. We're still running for so long. So I should be safe if I just sit here. Supposedly. As long as D is still safe space. I don't feel safe though. Great, there's an error! Awesome! Gotta love those. Safe space. Nope, fuck it, we're safe space. Safe space is on D. Fuck it. Running running to safety of grandpa. Running to the safety of grandpa. Save me, grandpa. Save me, grandpa. Save us, grandpa. Please protect us. I'm dead. Uh there's no way. No, I don't think grandpa can save us. I think I'm gonna die. No. <sighs> yep, yep. That sucked. Hmm. Yeah, that really stinks.
Yeah, so um, I was hanging out with uh, my my aunt and my mom and, and my cousin today for the better part of the day. And we were telling a bunch of, of old stories. And um, my cousin was uh, telling her mom about this one story from a whole... Uh, okay, so safe space isn't it? Um, from years and years ago, probably like something like 10 years ago now, when we were teenagers, and, and my cousin, I'll, I'll call her L for simplicity's sake now, when, I can't remember if it was when she was living with us or when she was just hanging out at our house all the time, because she, she lived with us, with my mom and I, well, with my parents and I for a while, um, Oh shit, run to A, run to A, run to A, what am I? Oh god, run, 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 run. Save us, safe space. Yay, we're alive! Um, uh, but she was telling her mom this story about uh, way back years ago when uh, we were sledding and one her, um, I can't remember why, why we're telling the story, um, and, uh, she happened, we, we went sled, sledding down this hill, um, and she, we happened to land wrong, and she landed on my hand, and we happened to have had, like, fake, those fake gel nails done for, like, some wedding or formal event or whatever that we had gone to recently. And when she landed on my hand, the nail broke, and when it did, it broke my real nail. And it broke my nail such that it started bleeding. And, um, those of you who actually know me in real life will know that my mom is like super duper over- oh, oh, oh god, where's safe space? Safe space is A, I think. Eh. I can't see jack crap. Okay. Anyway, my mom is like super duper overprotective of me and always have been since, uh, since I was like a tiny, tiny baby. So, the first words out of my cousin's mouth upon seeing actual blood on my hands were not, oh my god, are you okay? Is your hand okay? Are you hurt? No, her first words were, oh my god, your mother is going to kill me. So, yeah. That's a funny story we like to tell her. Ah, shit, do I run? Do I run? Do I stay? I run, I run, I run, I run. I don't know, I'm gonna run because that's fight or flight, I decide to fl flight, flight, <laughs> run, I decided to run because my words don't work. Save us, Grandpa! Yay, we're alive! That was also the same year that said cousin, who um, we're still going to call Elle for now, lost her cell phone in uh, the, the three feet. Mm, save us, Grandpa! Is it safe space? I don't know. Let's hope to God it is. Uh, lost her cell phone in the, like, three feet of snow that we had. <laughs> and, um, thankfully, because it was one of those, like, indestructible Nokia phones, it still actually worked after having sat in the snow for, like, three hours. Oh shit, oh shit, she's here! Oh god, run, 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 Oh god, no! Why? Fuck! Fucking fuck! It's really late at night, I should not be yelling that loud in my apartment. God damn it. Mm. Fuck. Mm. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> <sighs> okay.
Okay, let's see. What other uh, funny stories were there? Of, of sledding stories we have. There was the time that I, I ended up sledding underneath of a car um, and somehow miraculously managed to not give myself a concussion. Um, the way that uh, the, the, the hill that... Um, well, my, my parents um, live uh, behind this park or their, their, their neighborhood has this park in it. And um, the hill that this park has um, backs up straight up against... Uh, is this, is this, is this back straight up against um, the backyards of several uh, houses in the neighborhood. And these houses all have parking pads. And a lot of them don't actually uh, keep their back fences open straight so they can just pull straight in, pull straight out. <clears throat> and one of said... Um, you know, neighborhood uh, yards ha had said car parked there. So I went sliding down the hill and because I wanted to go as fast as possible and, you know, maintain all that speed, I was laying straight down. <clears throat> and, um, had my eyes closed because it's a scary thing. Um, so I wasn't really looking where I was going and I thank God that I was laying straight down and not looking where I was going because when I did open my eyes, oh Jesus, oh God, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, and not looking up because when I opened my eyes, I saw black and tubes and wires and realized I was looking up at the belly of the, the undercarriage of my neighbor's car <laughs> because I had slid completely underneath it, and thank God that at the time, I was a very skinny, very small child, because I was a very, very skinny kid. Oh, Jesus, she was on the stairs, damn it. Why does she do that? She always stands on the stairs, just as I'm trying to click to go up the stairs. My dad thought it was hilarious. My mom, not quite so much. Then again, pretty much all of these incidents where, you know, the, the near disastrous outcomes, my dad thinks it's hilarious and my mom is very much not a fan. I mean, as long as it doesn't, you know, involve, like, disastrous pain. Which, so far, no real disastrous pain. No broken bones or anything. <laughs> Okay, come on. <sighs> Sophie, I really, I really just, I want you to move on to wherever the hell you're going next. I mean, mostly, like, out of the house and out of my life. But if, you know, that means on to the next plane of existence, then that would also be preferable. But mostly, I just mean the fuck out of here. But, you know. If that means on to wherever the hell you're supposed to go, more is the better. Please don't kill us! Please don't kill us, Sophie! Yay, we're alive! For all of seven minutes into six o'clock. Fuck, do I stay? Do I stay? I'm gonna stay. Oh, fucking hell! Why? Why? Where were you? Were you just like creeping underneath the freaking coffee table? I don't know. I don't know what you want me to do. What do you want from me? I don't know what you want. <sighs> so let's see, other, um. Oh, they're funny. Oh no, of course I'm telling all these like funny uh, sledding, uh, snow winter time sledding stories when it's like 70 degrees out. <laughs> um, there was a time my dad sledded into a tree and we called him um, George the Jungle for like a good six months. My, fa my father's name being George, of course. Um, and of course we, we, we still haven't really let that one drop. Why am I 
going to A. This face is D. Let's go creep on Grandpa for a while. Do not lag on me. You will kill me. You will kill me so faster. I mean, like, as it is, Sophie's just mercilessly ending me constantly, but you will kill me so much faster otherwise. I have noticed that the elephant and the cat have been slightly lessened. But the creaking floorboards, however, they have ramped up a significant- Oh, the errors. The errors can just- No. I can't- I can't do it. I can't handle the errors. I'm not fast enough. Especially with the lag. There's no way I can do it. Are- are you- No, it's not possible. Yo. I can't do this in 23 seconds. It is impossible. This is not- this is not humanly possible! Especially not by this human! This human is terrible at this game! The worst! Okay, probably not, like, the worst. I imagine, like, my mom would be, like, probably the worst. Like, no offense, mom, but... Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Why am I dead? I thought I was supposed to be safe in D. Am I not safe from the errors anymore? I don't know. I really don't. Is this just gonna be how it is now? It's like, there's the I fail at everything video, I succeed, I fail at everything video, maybe next video, maybe next episode I'll succeed at something? I don't know. I really don't. I can't think of any more funny, um, sledding stories. The only other one I can think of isn't really that funny. It was just the time that uh, we were sledding, me and my cousin, my, another cousin, were sledding, and, and we That's sled, it. we were, um, okay. uh, sledding in a, a very different, much, much bigger park, and accidentally sledded directly into a stream that we had kind of forgotten was there. And it was very cold, and it was very unpleasant, and spent a very long ride home, soaking wet. I mean, at the time, I thought it was hilarious, but I was like seven or something, and he was he was a fair amount older than me. He was like thirteen or something, and he did not find it funny at all. Come on, come on, come on. Work with me here. I'm gonna actually, like, try my hand at this this time. I'm not just gonna run away, because literally every time I do that, I just get killed. She just murders me. Hey, hey! Success! I've missed you so much, Ellie the Elephant. That was a, <laughs> we had a, uh, a character in one of our D&D games named Ellie the Elephant. She killed a fucking dragon. That character was boss. She killed a white dragon all on her own, basically. Was it a white dragon? I can't remember. You'd have to ask Captain Psychology. But she was amazing. She was way more powerful than any of my, my characters. Oh, get down to B, get down to B, get down to B! Oh, B is gonna kill me, B is gonna kill me! Get No, 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 no! Oh, God, no! Get the A! Anyway, so about Ellie the Elephant. Ellie the Elephant was such a badass lifesaver that we literally, when we managed to secure ourselves an airship, or what, was it a, a space jammer ship? One or the other, or both, whatever it was. We actually, um... Fuck off, Sophie! Um, built her a, um... Her own, like, on deck to sleep in 
and then spent like two or like three or four weeks in universe trying to find the the elephant pride or whatever the hell you call it that she had been summoned from. Um, because she, she saved our lives, yo! She, like... We would be dead without this elephant. This elephant saved our entire party. Um, as it was, my character had spent two wishes from her, her sword of... Luck sword or wish sword or whatever it was to resurrect the other two, the two other party members in that fight. But Ellie the Elephant survived. Ellie the Elephant survived and she was doing fine. Ah, oh, shit! Fucking fuck, Sophie! You tricked me! You set the air and you wanted me to walk straight into your tits. Straight into your boobs. <sighs> Sophie, you are not pleasant person to be with tonight. You just really are not. I was waving at Captain Psychology. He just walked out from the other room. <laughs> I don't think I can beat her tonight. I really don't. I don't think it's gonna happen. I mean, I'm gonna try a time or two more, but she is she is not having it tonight. I hear you. I hear you. Okay, so his face is D. time, uh, the same cousin I was talking about earlier, Elle, had, um, we went to the ocean and she experienced Riptide for the first time and ended up sitting on my head in the ocean. I, um, came as close as I ever did to what I feared was drowning and was washing sand out of my hair for two weeks. Oh, freaking, freaking get upstairs to Grandpa. Run to Grandpa. Save us, Grandpa. Grandpa, please save us. Yay, we're alive. Oh, yes, I do hear the elephant in the room. Thank you. Thank you for checking to make sure that I knew he was still in the soundtrack somewhere. Sophie, if you could please, please, fuck off. That would just, that would make my day. Oh, A and B are gonna run out and I'm gonna die. Ah. Okay, get to A, hurry, 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 hurry to A. And then hurry back to B. And then we gotta hurry up the stairs. And please do, do not appear on the stairs again. Hurry to Grandpa! Hurry to Grandpa! Hurry to Grandpa! Oh god! I can't believe we made that. Holy crap. Oh god. Oh, there's an error, but A is running down so fast. Oh my god, I gotta get to A. Get to A! Get to A! Oh god, there's two errors. Oh. Oh, we're screwed. We are screwed. Mm -mm. We're dead, yo. We are dead. Mm -mm. Oh, shitty shit. Shitty shit. I hope to God D is still safe space. I can't see jack shit, Sophie. What do you know? You're gonna kill me. I mean, of course, that's, that's the whole point. That's what she wants to do. She wants to eat my soul for unknown reasons.
that you were back in the soundtrack element. I have missed you so greatly. <clears throat> I have not missed the screaming girl, though. Just that I have definitely not missed. Very much not missed. Very much not missed. Oh, the errors, the errors. No, they're gonna kill me. Oh shit, 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 shit. Do I stay? Do I stay? Do I stay? I run, I run, I run, I run. I, I don't remember where safe space is, but I'm gonna run because fight or flight, and in this game, I have no fight, so I just run in the opposite direction as fast as possible and hope for the best. But hey, it would get rid of the errors, right? I think it does. I hope it does, because otherwise I'm screwed, because I can't do the errors to save my freaking life. Like, physically, I die every time I do the errors. out of the corner while I like laughing <laughs> from the couch. Speaking of all, all those all those stupid stories and, and whatnot of um of a uh, uh, stupid crap that I've done over my life of dumb stories that have not have not landed me in the ER, thankfully, but probably almost should have. Um, and, and and grandpa, no, my grandpa never did that, but my grandmother totally did. Oh, come on, the errors! Oh my God, no! I got I got to wind up see. Um, I had mentioned that my mom was like super hyper protective of me my entire life. Um, my grandmother's favorite thing to do whenever I would come over to see her was to ask me, what has your mother told you you can't do? Um, and then, and me, oh god, no, run upstairs, run upstairs, run upstairs. Um, she would look at me and she'd be like, okay, so what did your mom tell you you can't do this week? And then immediately take me to do that thing. <laughs> Which, uh, sorry mom, if you're ever watching this, though she knows. Um, yeah, so that was, that was my, my grandmother's my way of bonding. Um, I was told I couldn't go to the state park, so that's what my grandmother and I did for like an entire two months of every weekend. We go out to the state park. Oh shit, what's happening? Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? Oh god, what the fuck? What's happening? The 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 lights are going wibbly and wobbly and I'm 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 not in safe space? Oh god, what's safe space? I'm gonna go to D. Hello? Go to Grandpa. <sighs> Did, oh, oh shit, my, my face cam's in the way. Something the bodies in the, in the house two days later after the events, one of the bodies was found in the bed under um, his bedroom. His name was Robin Zolan. The other two bodies were found in the basement. Henry, uh, let me move my thing. The police found three bodies in the house two days later after the events. One of the bodies was found 
in a bed under the sheets in the main bedroom. His name was Robert Zellin. The, the other two bodies were found in the basement. Henry Zellin and Michael, Michael Ray. Robert and Henry were two brothers that dedicated their life investiga- to invest. Blah. They dedicated their life investigating paranormal events. The police believed that they tricked Michael into thinking he was there to take care of an elderly man, but they were using him as bait for one of their investigations. They were in the house without permission of the owners. The place was abandoned for years. The owners moved out since their daughter went missing many years ago. Two months later, after the bodies were found, the owner of the house got drunk and burned the house down with him inside. Witnesses declared that he was yelling that he was finally going to be reunited with his daughter. Thanks to the fire, the police were able to find a girl's body that was hidden inside one of the walls in the basement. They believe it was Sophia Williams, the girl that disappeared from the house years ago. Investigators found on her mouth a piece of paper with a note that said it was Clarissa. Okay, so... So it was Clarissa that killed her? Oh god, so her best friend killed her and 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 hit her in in the house? Oh god, that's horrible. Is that what it's saying? Cab's just kind of shrugging behind me. Oh, Okay, so then, so then in this, so, so then Robert actually bought the house because of Sophie. He specifically bought the house because of the story behind it. And my character was killed by Sophie, I'm, uh, by the ghost of Sophie, I'm assuming. And my character's name is um, Michael. Oh, God, that is messed up. Oh, Oh, that is, oh, that is so messed up. Oh. So then, so then the guy with the suicide note, I guess he really did, he really was involved in, in the disappearance of Sophie. And, um, so then, Clarissa is is still at large. She just disappeared. She just she just killed her best friend and then vanished. And just disappeared. She she was in, I guess I wonder if what well, I mean, was she was is she still in a cabin in the woods or was she or was she in there and it, or or was she like an accomplice and then just never left? I don't know. This is this is really weird. I want I want to like look into it more and see this was really good this was really interesting i, I want to i want to uh, see more about it you know see see what other people have said about this see um that was really creepy i did not expect at the end to to see the best friend brought into it again um which is exciting because I had mentioned before that the best friend was a, an, an unexpected component that I didn't anticipate, that I kept coming back to, that uh, was was a, an aspect that I hadn't seen in these stories before and that I didn't know what to do with. And, and having her, she killed her best friend. That's, that's terrible. I mean, did she? I guess she did. Oh, that's so messed up. Oh, but the game was lovely, and we finished it, which is exciting. I didn't, I didn't think we'd actually get through it tonight. I didn't, I didn't think that I would actually manage to get through it. I didn't think we'd get to what is, what was it, seven or eight or whatever the heck it was. 
But oh my goodness, guys, it was it was lovely having you guys to play with me, and I enjoyed it. And I'm hope I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I've got the the link in the description if you guys want to play it for yourselves. And I'll see you guys in the next game. I hope you enjoyed it.